Yo, I cannot wait to play Minecraft on this thing. Here we go, setup is formatting. Alright, copy and files, I'll see you all when we have Windows 2000 fully set up. Okay, I'm not sure what it's doing right now, but, uh... Looks like it's doing it good, you know, whatever it's doing, right? <laughs> Preparing network connections, huh, alright. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is resize the screen so it isn't really, uh, you know, this weird looking, like stretched out, you know, um, tiny screen. So what we're going to want to do is go up here and press insert guest edition CD image. There we go. Oh, all right. There we go. We got the virtual machine, uh, you know, guest editions. And that's basically going to let us actually resize the screen and do a bunch more stuff. So let's install that. And I'll see you all when everything is ready. Alright, so I've set the screen size to 1280 by 720. Oh. I love that sound. Anyways, yeah, there's other options like 1920 by 1080 and even bigger. Like, I could resize the screen to be like 800 by 600, something like this. But it's, it's just a bit too zoomed in. And I could also resize it to be 1920 by 1080, but at this rate, you're basically looking at a blue screen, so, you know. Just thought that I would, uh, you know, do it like this, 1280 by 720. Now, actually, before we do anything else, I lied again. There's one more thing we gotta do, is turn on shared clipboard, set that to bi-directional, and drag and drop also set to bi-directional, and what that means is I can now drag and drop files from my computer into this virtual machine. So that's because I wanna, um, get things like, you know, oh. <laughs> Welcome to the internet connection wizard. Anyway, if I want to get things like Java, websites might not work in this old version of Windows, so I can just drag the files to uh, this virtual machine. So you might be thinking, like, why don't you just get Java from inside the uh, virtual machine itself? Well, wouldn't that be more fun? Well, uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, most websites won't work. Like, check out YouTube, even. This page cannot be displayed. All right, yeah, it was already a hassle to even open YouTube, as you could see. So basically, we can drag and drop files in, and I can get certain things, like there's a browser called Opera, and I'm pretty sure it's the only one that works on Windows 2000. I'm not uh, entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. But you get what I'm trying to say. Basically, so long as we download Java from outside the computer, you know, have like a Java 8 setup, drop it in here, you know, it'll just be so much easier. All right, let's get ourselves Opera, just so we have the internet on this thing, you know? And check it out, just like that, we got the web browser working, all right. Now I just want to see, can I get multi-MC? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, wait. Can I go to Reddit or something? No? Okay, see, this is what I mean. Like, it's just not gonna work. N none of these websites are gonna work. Because they weren't made for Windows 2000. You know, I think we need a good background to go with this thing, you know? Okay, we're gonna call it Minecraft.bmp. Set as wallpaper. Oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, can I stretch it? <gasps> yes. <gasps> oh, check it out. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sample PNG. Minecraft.pmp. That is so cool. All right, so I'm currently watching a tutorial, and apparently you've got to install Java on, like, Windows 10 and then move some file into your uh, virtual machine or something like that to get Java to work, so... Hey, I mean, uh, props to the tutorial guy who's showing me how to do this. Oh, there we go. All right, I got my Java in. All right, let's take the folder out of the file, you know, get ourselves some Java runtime thingy. Oh, yeah, I'm also going to leave a link in the description for uh, the guy's tutorial in case you want to do this for yourself. So the next step is going to be to install this Java, f Java 7 EXE. All right, the extended kernel thingy should actually be here. I I can't read this. What does this all say? Is this... Oh, I didn't click anything. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Okay, so I know the video is derailing there for a bit, but don't worry. Basically, I need the extended kernel to be able to even install Java 7. That's why it wouldn't work before. So somebody uh, actually uploaded the file that I was trying to look for on that uh, Japanese website. And they uploaded it to a file, uh, you know, file downloader thing. So here we go. I've got everything I need. Uh, this one I have to install last because it says right there, so, you know, I'm just going to get to installing everything else. 
Okay, that one just won't work. We're going to pretend it's not there then. Updating my system. Yeah, all right. Sure, we can update it. That's fine. Uh... Sure, execute. Why not? Oh, okay. Sure, we got to restart Windows once again? Let's do it. Looks like, uh, that's a zip we gotta open, okay. Internet Explorer 6. Did I just get a version of Internet Explorer that actually works? What? Wait, YouTube. No. Home. What the heck? Wait a second. So I didn't need Opera? What the heck? Wait, it actually works. How do I stop YouTube from showing me, like, the supported browser stuff? I actually just want to use YouTube. Wow, okay, I guess uh, Internet Explorer actually just works now. That's pretty cool. Not what we're here for, though. Alright, install, install. Yes! Oh, check it out! What's that tutorial guy gonna want me to do next, actually? Alright, so the next part of the tutorial says we have to go into Java, rename JRE7 to something like JRE9, for example, and then move the JRE8 folder into here, and rename that to JRE7. Now, Minecraft uses Java 8, but because we can't install that on Windows 2000, we have to trick it into thinking that it's running Java 7 when in reality it's actually running Java 8. That is super cool. Okay, so now apparently Control Panel should say that Java is running in Java 1.8. Check it out! Yeah, 1.8! Oh, that's so cool, dude! Alright, I'm just gonna copy everything and just move it into a safe folder just in case something goes wrong, because I am super paranoid. Okay, now that we got Java, I guess the last thing we need is the old Minecraft launcher. Psych! We're gonna be using Multi-MC, baby! Third-party Minecraft launcher. We got Multi-MC set up! <laughs> it's so cool! Look at that! I've never been able to use such a modern program on such an old thing. Alright, we're gonna do British English because that's the closest to Canadian English. And if you didn't already know, I am Canadian. And check it out, we can choose that version of Java and... Oh my gosh, look at that. Can we play 1.21? <laughs> if we can play 1.21... No, 1.21 uses like Java 21. I don't think that's gonna work, but... We can definitely play like a beta version of Minecraft. Let's try beta 1.7.3. Oh yeah, I gotta set an account up. Here, wait, hang on. I, I have a file I can just copy. Okay, and if I restart multi-MC, there we go! Snowman64. Oh, crap, I gotta log back in. Alright, fine. Oh, there we go! I actually logged into my Mojang account through this thing. Oh, what the heck? No way, we're actually starting it up. Okay, moment of truth, everybody. Playing Minecraft on Windows 2000. <laughs> it's actually working! What? Right? It's working, right? Please? Please work. <gasps> no! Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. Because it failed to find an accelerated OpenGL mode. Okay, I can change that in my settings. Okay, come on. Uh, system. Display. Here we go. Display, right? Uh, remote display. No, video display. System? System, maybe? Processor? No. Oh, enable a 3D acceleration. There we go. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on. We can get Minecraft to work on this stupid thing. <laughs> come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 3D acceleration, you better not fail me. Alright, this time I won't zoom into anything, I'm actually just gonna full screen it when it shows up. Alright, boom. Alright, come on. Work for Papa! No, what the heck? Accelerated OpenGL mode. Fixed by updating the video card drivers. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep just tampering with it, and I'll get back to you when it works. So, funny story, remember how uh, I installed those guest editions at the beginning of the video? And that's basically going to let us actually resize the screen and do a bunch more stuff. Yeah, it turns out um, the 3D part shouldn't be grayed out. And I should have checked the box that made the 3D acceleration work at the beginning. So uh, don't worry, I'm not going to lose any of my progress. I'm simply just going to be um, quickly, you know, making sure that the guest editions actually bring in direct 3D. And I'll see you all when that's finished. Oh boy, check it out. We're back to this disgusting, stretched-out green background, but no worries. 
do not worry at all because we momentarily are just staying in this. Oh. What happened to Steve? What did they do to you? Get out of here, Opera, Multi-MC. I want to just... Wow, that, <laughs> that's a Steven I have. Okay, I'll be right back after this following message. Are you wondering why your direct 3D thingy is still gray? Why is that still gray? Why is that still gray? Well, come on down to nowhere because I have no idea what I'm doing. Requires 256 megabytes of video memory. Do I have that? Oh, mine was only set to 40. That's why. Here, wait. I figured it out. Okay. Okay, don't mind if I do. Just up that to 256 and boom. There we go. Okay, come on. Moment of truth. No, what the heck? Why? I know it says experimental, but why is it still... This makes no sense. I have 256... Okay, give me just a sec. Alright, I'm gonna try manually downloading, uh, OpenGL through this computer. Here we go, OpenGL setup. Alright, this should work. It's been a few hours, but I believe that I finally found a way that'll let me use OpenGL. Alright, OpenGL for Windows from Silicon Graphics Release 2. I'm pretty confident about this one, actually. Yeah, let's just make a new folder for it, sure. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's try running Minecraft with that OpenGL installed. Dang it, what the heck? Okay, I may have figured out the solution. So I've got this OpenGL32 DLL, and hopefully this is going to fix all my problems. Alright, there we go, we replace it. <gasps> what the? Oh, ah, ah, what? oh my god! Oh, ah, that, what the DLL actually worked? Okay, okay. I wasn't exp... Uh -huh. Okay. Dude, I have literally been searching every single post on the internet wondering why the heck that uh, OpenGL thing was grayed out, but we finally have Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 working. I I is it going to, like, play, though? That that's the real question here. A are we going to be able to make a world? We'll call this uh, World 2000. You know, I always like to make creative world names. I have literally spent so many hours now just, like, looking across the entire internet wondering why the heck it wouldn't work. Oh my goodness. It may be incredibly laggy, and my mouse sensitivity may be incredibly destroyed. But it's actually working, okay. Why, why is what? Uh, why is it going down? Okay, let's just grab a piece of wood and then I'm good. Alright, nice! We can even get achievements, like take an inventory. That is so cool, man. Wow. Okay, seems like setting sensitivity to yawn is the only way to actually fix this. <laughs> Literally setting the sensitivity to the smallest you possibly can. Okay, I'm gonna have to set my graphics way down. Advanced OpenGL, I don't think I'm ever turning that on. Okay, there we go. Smooth lighting can turn off. Performance power saver? Yeah. Oh, hey, check it out. Look at that. Oh, I can actually, like, I got a lot more control over my uh, uh, camera now. Okay, I think I'm all Minecrafted out on Windows 2000 for now, but that's not the end of this video. Ah, oh, crap, check it out! <laughs> My disc is all full, so I gotta make a second one, and I'll be right back when I got one. Oh, you know what? I haven't emptied my recycle bin. That must be my problem. Okay, here comes the next part of the video. So, my favorite Minecraft mod right now is called Better Than Adventure, and here is the file. I'm gonna be playing this on Windows 2000 because, well, why not? I mean, you know, just for fun. Boom. That should work. There we go, we got Better Than Adventure 7.2 pre-release 2. At the time of making this video, that's the latest version, but I guarantee those developers have already probably pumped out another big awesome update. Okay. Come on, Better Than Adventure. Oh. Oh, it's frozen. Alright, it's taking its sweet time. 32-bit Java detected? Okay, yeah. I've never seen that screen before. And wow, check it out, I've got Better Than Adventure running. Let's see. Yep, when you press on the logo, it does that. Oh, this is so cool. All right, let's create a new world real quick. Real quick.
Okay, maybe better than Adventure is just a bit laggier than Minecraft, but check it out. Basically, uh, better than Adventure actually has its own feature where, if I go into options, what I can do is... Okay, this is so slow. What I can do is set render scale down to 0.25 and check it out. The game becomes considerably more pixelated. However, okay, it really doesn't run that much better, but uh, <laughs> you get my point. It... I mean, if you've got, like, a bad laptop or something, then, yeah, it'll run better, but... Oh, my gosh. Look at all the... Oh. This is, like, barely even qualified, like, as playable, but, you know. It's all good. Got better than Adventure. <laughs> so, of course, you know, we got taken inventory, but also we can see better than Adventure's very own guidebook. Uh, I'm probably the first ever person to play this on Windows 2000, to be honest. And, hey, I take pride in it. It's my favorite mod. Why not try something new with it? And that's where I'm going to end off this video. So, thank you all so much for watching, and... <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!